Okay, now it's time to put everything together. Firstly, your reel. First decision you need to make, are you left hand wise or right hand wise? Very important, probably best decided in the tackle shop because the tackle shop staff will set your reel up for you. But what this basically means is, as you reel the line in, there is no resistance. And as the line comes off the reel spool, the drag engages, very, very important. Personally, I'm right hand wind and I like to reel in with my left hand. Some people prefer it, vice versa. It's up to you. But the important thing is when you reel in, there's no resistance. And when line comes off the reel, the drag engages. The drag is adjustable here with this knob at the side. Very simple. Now, of course, time to put the reel onto the rod. This is the reel seat. Pretty self-explanatory, really. But you'll see there's a little groove up in onto the cork here. Call this the foot of the reel. I'll just slide that up in there, put the band over the, the foot, the other, the other side of the foot of the reel, and tighten up these locking nuts. So you get a nice secure fit. If you have a double locking nut like this, this rod, it's best to do them individually or they can get stuck. Very simple, so the reel's nice and secure on there. So there we are. At this point, I'm not going to put the rest of the rod on, it could get in the way, because we need to spool up our reel. Firstly, the backing. Now, backing has two main purposes. Number one, it's here to bulk the spool of the reel up so as your fly line isn't coiled too tightly. But mainly, it's to back up that fly line. The fly lines are only 30 yards long. If you do hook a good fish, it can run further than that, much further. So you really need at least 40 yards. We're gonna go for about 100 yards on this reel of backing. So just to back everything up. I like a nice high vis backing. This is bright pink, but bright orange, even white. It just shows up well when that fish is, is heading off into the sunset, hopefully. So the first stage is to securely attach our fly line to our reel. Very simple. Firstly, I'm just going to thread the end of the backing around the reel spool. Very simple. Like so all the way around, not tangled around anything. With any knot, always give yourself plenty to play with here. So I've got plenty of overhang as it were. Now the knot I'm going to use here is, uh, I know it as an arbor knot to attach backing to reel. There are lots of different knots. Most of them work absolutely great. The best way to learn your knots, personally I believe, is under a nice bright light at home when you can practice these things and get them nice and secure. But I'm going to do the arbor knot here. I just form a loop right here and then double back four or five turns down. The arbor knot's good because it slips down and tightens everything up. And then I just come back in through the original loop and just start to pull this tight. Very simply, tighten it all up. It's like a bit of a slip knot goes on the arbor of the reel. There's some great knot apps you can get for your phone these days, books and things, so have a look at them. So there we go. It's important to tighten that up, not to let it slip. I'm just going to do a little overhand knot, a little granny knot just on top, just to give it a little bit of extra security. Then all I need to do is get my scissors, cut off the tag end. Simple. There we go. Now, we're ready to spool the backing on. This is where you need some help. You can do it yourself, but you're possibly gonna get some tangles. I've done that many of times. So, simply, good idea. Pencil through the spool. Hand it over to Lucy there. Very simple. Now, what is important at this stage is you put a wee bit of tension on here. You want this on quite tight. So run it through your fingers and put some tension on there, like so. Now we're going to get about 100 yards on here, so this will take a little minute. 